Satnam Yogis, I'm Ann Novak. Welcome to this Spirit Voyage presentation in honor of Mother's Day. Speaking as a mother, I can say that it is both a profoundly rewarding and sometimes intensely challenging experience that requires a great deal of patience and strength and stamina. So it is essential for all mothers and actually all caregivers to regularly take time out to care for ourselves. If we don't, our health suffers, both physically, mentally, and emotionally, and that impacts everyone all around us. And if we do, not only can we be more effective in our work, but infinitely more joyful and grateful. We'll begin with a short Kriya, because moms don't generally have a whole lot of time, to increase our vitality and our energy so that our bodies can rejuvenate and heal themselves. Our bodies are self-repairing. They, they want to heal. They want to stay strong and young and healthy. They just need the opportunity. And this Kriya is that opportunity. We'll follow the Kriya with a meditation, a beautiful, simple meditation to release tension. Our minds are our best friends when they are free of worry and insecurity, when they are trained to relate to our highest self, our most creative self. So let's begin. Please rub your hands together. This wakes up the brain. And now press the palms together and press your thumbs into your sternum. Close your eyes and focus up and in at the brow point, the root of your nose. Focusing there will help to calm and clear your mind. And take a nice deep breath. Fill your belly up on the inhale. And as you exhale, draw the navel into the spine. Again, inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Every Kundalini Yoga practice begins with the Adi Mantra, five words. Om Namo Gurudev Namo. I bow to all that is known and unknown to me. I bow to the divine teacher within me and I ask for guidance. We'll chant it three times with a deep breath between each. Please inhale to begin. And gently hold this breath for a moment. And exhale and bring your hands now down to your knees. Have your index fingers and your thumbs touching lightly. And begin long deep breathing. As you inhale, Allow the belly to expand outward and the sides of the rib cage, and finally fill up the topmost part of your lungs at the sternum. And as you exhale, release first from the sternum, then draw the sides of the rib cage in, and finally draw the navel in toward the spine. And continue this way without any strain in your body. 
Breathe gently and completely. Breathe with affection for yourself. And as you breathe, imagine that you can see the life energy that travels on the breath moving through your body, creating healing. Direct that energy wherever it is that you require healing. Long, deep breathing this way soothes your nervous system. It brings it back into balance. Let yourself breathe. Notice how the diaphragm massages the belly as you breathe deeply, moving blood to the organs of digestion. Also facilitating the movement of cerebral spinal fluid to your brain so that you can think clearly, stay alert, focused. Without forcing it, slow the breath. Stretch your rib cage with the breath. of energy but they will give you energy back ten times over. It looks like this. You're gonna, if you're able to, come up onto the balls of your feet with your heels touching and off the floor. If this knee bend is too deep for you, just go as deep as your body feels comfortable going. You should not feel any discomfort in your knees at all. And instead of having your fingertips on the floor, this way you can also hold on to a chair so you're up a little bit higher. When you take a deep breath in, you're going to straighten your legs up and bring your torso towards your thighs. And then as you exhale, you'll come back down, keeping your chin pulled in and your heart lifted. We're gonna do 10 frogs and then do some breathing. And then we're gonna do a few more frogs. Here we go. Big inhale, stretch the body up. Exhale down, that's one. Inhale. Pull the chin and lift the heart, two. Three. If you don't feel steady, keep your eyes open. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Hold yourself in the down position, whatever that looks like for you. The chin drawn in. Take a nice deep breath in here. And exhale completely. Draw the belly in. Again, inhale. 
exhale. Once more, inhale. Exhale, and when you're all done exhaling, hold your breath out. Please stop breathing and apply mulaban. That means draw your navel up and in and contract the muscles of the pelvic floor, holding the breath out for just a few more seconds. Be very brave. Feel the energy rising in you as you hold your breath out. Inhale again, stretch up into frogs. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, we're still going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, you're halfway there. Fourteen, fifteen, breathe powerfully. Sixteen, seventeen, that's eighteen. See if you can do a little more. Rest if you need to. 20. 21. 22. 23. 24. 25. Last turn. 26. Hold yourself again in the down position. Chin drawn in. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Again, inhale, exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, holding the breath out, draw the navel up and in, squeeze the pelvic floor, mulaban, chin, tron, in, no breathing, be brave. And inhale. And ease yourself out of the posture now, please. Stretch your legs straight out in front of you. And just shake them. Walk side to side. And then fully extend the knees now. Contract the muscles in the front of the thighs and gently Push the backs of the knees down into the floor. Flex your feet. And if you're able to, you're gonna take your first two fingers, index and middle, and grab hold of your big toes, and take your thumbs and gently press into your big toenail. If you cannot comfortably hold your toes, or you can't do it with your legs straight, just hold up higher on your legs. Take a deep breath in now and stretch the spine up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lead with your belly, draw yourself toward your thighs. Follow with your head. And hold yourself down at the very end of your range of motion. Keeping the thighs firmly contracting. It's more important that the knees are fully extended than it is to move forward. When you contract the muscles in the front of the body, the muscles in the back of the body get a signal to relax. Breathe long and deep here now in this position. And imagine that as you inhale, you're drawing energy in through your heels. And as you exhale, that energy crests over your shoulders like a wave, drawing you deeper into the posture. Let go of the tension in the back of the body. 
so that you can move forward. Take a deep breath in as you slowly roll up one vertebra at a time, the head coming up last. Now please draw your knees into your chest. Hold your shins and rock a few times up and down on your spine. And rock yourself all the way up to sitting. This is a very soothing and relaxing meditation. 
wherein you will have your hands positioned right, resting in the left, and then left thumb resting in the right palm, and right thumb on top of the left thumb at the height of your heart. We'll be chanting the mantra Sat Nam in a very certain way. The Sat is very long and the Nam is a very short sound. And you want to see if you're able to, without straining, get all the way through the mantra once without taking a breath. So that your exhale while chanting the mantra is very long and slow. And then your inhale will be very deep and full. Your eyes will be almost closed, not quite closed, as we begin the meditation. And if you find that they naturally want to close on their own as we get deeper into the meditation, feel free to go ahead and do that. So sit up nice and tall, please. Hands at the height of the heart. Eyes slightly opened. Listen and join me in chanting Sat Nam, please.
gently suspend the breath. Feel it and see it circulating through your body, bringing healing. Restoring your beauty, your vitality, your grace. And exhale. Inhale, stretch your arms up above you now. And again, hold the breath, shake your hands. Exhale and float the arms down. And put your hands together at your heart in prayer pose. And we'll complete our practice with one more long satna. Inhale to begin. So Thank you very much for practicing this Kriya and meditation with me today. Have a glorious day. All blessings to you. Sadna.